So, yeah, Your Excellency, again, uh, we're really uh, thankful and happy to welcome you here in the first ever Children Youth Pavilion. And you, as you can see, this is the conference space. This is where we make uh, more than 100 sessions in those two weeks. We have sessions from nine to seven with high-level speakers, with youth speakers, mainly children and youth leading those sessions. And we have ministers, we just had the Assistant Director General speaking in a session now earlier. And we have presidents coming, we had the Prime Minister of Barbados yesterday. So we have uh, many speakers and the sessions also are interactive workshops, uh, dialogues. So it's youth and children leading the dialogue today and saying that we are united and we are, you know, present here in the COP with our pavilion. And we have different themes, right, Serena? We have so many themes. So every day, every day we've assigned a different theme to each one. Um, and so today is our health and finance day, two completely separate themes. Yesterday we had climate justice, tomorrow is youth theme, of course. Um, and we tried to make sure it was super inclusive so that everyone has an interest that can fit here as well. And actually, it wasn't just us. We had an enormous team helping with this as well. So we have, uh, well, we had us as program team, but we also had a communications team. We had a logistics team. We have loads of volunteers helping us as well. Um, we have lots of partners. So actually, the high-level champions were really, really instrumental in helping this happen, um, helping to make this happen. And then we also have SIF, which is the Child Investment Fund Foundation as well. They funded us and were really amazing um, in helping. So that's kind of a summary of what the pavilion is. And yeah, before, before maybe, uh, of course, Serena will take you through what youth are here to say and children and youth are here to say at COP because we have a message of here being united and here gathering here to send messages. So uh, youth are doing a lot of things, right, Serena? So many things. Okay, so every single day, the youth are absolutely powering through. We're having bilateral meetings with different um, negotiators and different decision makers constantly. Uh, we're giving interventions, drafting these as a team so that everyone's inputs are um, uh, involved into it and then delivering these in the plenaries and the sessions. We're doing actions, protests, uh, trying to find more creative ways to try and get our message across. We have young people speaking inside events constantly, like uh, every minute you'll see some side event with some youth speaker there at some point as well. We also have young people uh, stationed around the city, you know, in the green zone and just other spaces, the climate justice hub. Oh, what else? Yeah, I think that's, a, that's pretty much it. And the, the key message, I think... Um, is that youth are leading the way right now. You can see everyone here right now is really <laughs> excited and happy to be at the pavilion. And <laughs> the energy is high. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, so, and Your Excellency, before we take a family photo, now you are part of our youth and children family. We'd love to hear maybe some messages from Your Excellency to children and youth all over the world. So please, uh, inspire us. Well, th thank you very much. I'm uh, delighted to be here. I, first of all, want to congratulate you all uh, this is the first children and youth pavilion that has been fully uh, constructed, uh, designed, and uh, implemented by the youth. So this is in itself a declaration of commitment, commitment to a common objective. I truly appreciate it coming through and the artistic wall and the letters, save the earth, uh, stop pollution. There was a sign that said save the sharks. I only hope that in the shark pavilion, they have a sign that says save the humans. But uh, otherwise, uh, I appreciate the dedication, the commitment, the enthusiasm, and I depend on it. As president, I depend on your voices. It is your future that we are supposed to be here to guarantee. And it is only through your voices and your advocacy and your inspiration. It is you who have to, this beautiful young girl, with such a beautiful smile that she has every right to grow up and take full advantage of well, the earth, the environment, to have the forests, to have the air to breathe, and to uh, live for a long and prosperous future in a planet that has been beautiful and will be beautiful once again when governments undertake their responsibilities. But you are the ones, you are the constituents, you are the future, and it is your voice so let us hear it for the climate from you. Thank you, Excellency. Let us all end with the family picture with your Excellency. Just stay in here. So everyone, let's gather here and quickly the picture. Take a family picture with your Excellency. Yalla, oodu, kullina no'od. Yalla, khalikum a'adin keda. Umniya ta'ali ma'ana. Youth and boy. Yalla, akid.
What do we want? <laughs> 